These kayakers are riding the powerful tidal waters at Skookumchuk, a First Nations reserve which means strong waters. The video perfectly represents the experience of Christians who are faced with the sudden prospect of divorce. They are overwhelmed with surging emotions, strong feelings. Sometimes it just seems impossible to keep your head above water. It was a pretty dark time, a very dark time. Uh, uh, I was in a place that, that, that scared me. That, that made me fearful. And at that time, I didn't think anybody would be happy to see me. I was in so full of shame. And uh, I came to a point that I was so angry with God that I was ready to just throw my faith away. And as soon as she was nice to me, I broke into tears. But I was so ready for someone to um, help me find a place to belong at that time in my life. And so. Uh, I drove by Central Heights Church, uh, full of anger, full of hatred, full of despise of life, and uh, saw the sign that said divorce care, and I thought, what can it hurt? And um, I stood at the back, actually, because I wasn't sure whether I was going to stay or not, because I was so angry, and I was ready to leave. And I, for whatever reason, stayed ease as I was nervous and emotional all at once. At that point going through that door back then I can almost remember the very first time I did God had already started changing my life. My attitude was right I had to learn. God has been slowly building me back to who he wants me to be not who I want to be but who he wants me to be and I just have to let him. Through let those him. times I started to look forward to coming. I started to to learn the mistakes I'd made, uh, how I could become a better person, the relationship with him, I could make it stronger. The more relationship I had with him, the more I heard him talk to me. It was just a wonderful experience and I felt all warm again, like I did when I first became a Christian. Really, I really learned a lot about myself and a lot to be more Christ-like. I have more confidence. It has made me a stronger person and it has it uh, helped, helped me go deeper, more personal, in, in to see the areas where, that I needed to work on. But you're forced to look at yourself and to acknowledge what your part in the breakdown of your marriage. People in my group were open and they were hurting. The uh, stories were similar, but the hurt was all the same. It was like, um, I'm not alone. Beside me, and mostly I found God there um, through His presence personally, but through His presence with so many other people that were walking my walk. Uh, being able to share in a safe and healthy environment helps you helps you heal. Divorce care helped give me the biblical perspective that I need. As it says in Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, that He's definitely in charge. You actually. Um, are held up to the light and so reading the scriptures and seeing God's view on the subject. And I'm glad it was biblically based because I found my love again, I found my father, I found God. And I learned how much God truly loved me and how even though I've gone through a divorce and I've gone through basically hell on earth, God still loves me and I was so so afraid that he didn't. Um, he took me from despair, from emptiness, and, uh, and slowly filled me. And I also realized that God is indeed in charge of my life. Um, but it also allows you to meet with God in a real way. And God has truly changed my life, but I had to let it happen. It all brought more peace into my life. I have more confidence, made me a stronger person. And God has the answers. He wants to help His people. He wants us to go to Him. And God has allowed me now to use my circumstances to help other people. I would encourage anyone who is either currently going through a separation or a divorce, or if you've been divorced for many years and you've never come to divorce care, I would encourage you to come because here you will experience God's love and be forever changed as He will give you a new beginning. And right now, uh, again, all this happened in, at Central Heights Church.